All right, guys, I'm back at the salvage yard. I'm looking for a mirror um, that has a temperature from my little truck. I really like being able to read the outside temperature. Um, and this GM trucks have it. It's an older GM truck. Not only do I need the mirror, but I also need the sensor, which I believe is this one's right over here, the air temperature sensor. Um, I'm going to see how much they gave it to me for. Here's the mirror. This one has compass and temperature. There's some that have uh, answer and all that stuff. I don't want all that stuff. I just want the compass and the temperature. And that's exactly what this one is supposed to be, we're supposed to have. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Uh, new project today. And this one I'm really, really, really hoping that it's going to work out. I'm pretty excited. I mean, there was something simple, but I'm pretty excited about it. Hi right, guys, here it is. I like the fact that it has a compass and a temperature, and it's an auto dimly mirror. Um, and it displays both lines over here. They call this a two-line display on it. Yesterday, I went to the salvage yard, and I was able to get this mirror and the sensor for the mirror as well. Um, at first, I was like, man, how am I going to wire this? I knew I needed to get the sensor so that the temperature gauge, so that the temperature will work. So I did some digging, looked it up on Google, and I was, fake, I was able to figure it to find, to find out. And I'm hoping it's going to work out. Just in case you guys are going to use this one, I'm going to put a picture of the diagram of what the wires are supposed to be for. But if you look at the wires here, to me, they're hard to tell what color it is. But when you look at it over here, they're much easier to read. The ones coming from the sensor, you have a black and white cable. You have a black and white cable here. And you have a, a green with a white stripe and a green with a white stripe. One is supposed to be positive and the other one negative, And that is coming from the temperature sensor you had to place in front of the vehicle. Um, then you have three other cables that you're supposed to wire. The pink one is positive. The black one is ground. And this one is supposed to be uh, connected, be connected to a reverse signal. That is to let, in case you put your backing up, the rear view mirror is not going to dim. Even if it's a bright light or something like that, it's not going to auto dim. So that's what, that's what that cable is for. These two cables are supposed to be sending the signal to dim the side mirrors, the right and left uh, side mirrors on this vehicle, uh, which I don't have to worry about it. But let me go ahead and connect it to the battery so you guys can see what it does. All right, connect it to the battery, and I'm not sure you, you can tell the... The temperature and the compass are starting to work, and the mirror is dimming automatically. Also, this little light is lighting up. The numbers are very hard to read to me. Very hard to read to me. They're pretty dim on the camera. They they look way more visible than when they do on in, in, in person. So the mirror right now is faded, as you can see. Look at my reflect. They have my hand reflection. Right now is um, dimmed. I mean, not faded, but dimmed. So when I connect the power to the green cable, um, let me show you guys. Right now it's in the process of calculating uh, for the for the compass. So if I take the green wire and connect it to the power, It undims the mirror. See guys, now it's not it's not dimmed anymore. All right guys, after playing with the original mirror that I got, the one on the right over here, quite a bit. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't work, and then the display would not be as bright as it should be. Um, I ended up going back to the, to the salvage yard that I got the mirror from, and I just happened to find one another mirror that was uh, the same um, from another uh, G GM truck. Um, forgot what it was, but anyway, another GM truck. So I ended up testing this one right at the outside of the salvage yard. And this one looks to be brighter and work better. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it now. I have the wiring already now. I taped up the positives so that I would not 
showed anything this other to our ground so if this touch it doesn't matter um, and again I have the green one connected to the the one is supposed to be pink over here just completely faded um, so that uh, um, otherwise it's, it's dims completely all right guys let me go ahead and connect it now so you can talk that's it out to show you guys how it's working my camera is not picking it up well there it is you guys can see it and that one definitely looks brighter than than the other one the other one for me was very hard to read now that one i can that that one i can re definitely read it better it's already getting hot in here in florida as you guys can see now i have to connect it and wire it and then i should be good to go i'm going to have to run wiring five wires from the mirror from with the mirror location um three wires are going to be to the um, driver's side full wheel area around where the fuses are located and two wires are going to have to come all the way to the front where the sensor is located uh where the sensor is located all right guys one cool thing about the mirrors right now the numbers and letters are dimmed because I have the little photo cells blocked from the front and the back. Um, this is kind of what the other mirror looks like, like that, barely visible. Once I once I remove my hands from the little photo cell things, it takes a little bit. And these things should change. It will get brighter. There it is. I'm glad I caught it. So hopefully that's going to be at night the way in daytime it looks like this and at nighttime it looks the other way. Alright guys, to remove the mirror uh, from my second gen Tacoma, um, you have to, the way I did it is I have to pry it out this little cover with a thin screwdriver. And I was being careful because you put pressure on it the wrong way and it hits the glass, you'll break the glass. So anyway, so I po it popped this little cover off of these things like that and somehow that released the mirror and it came right out it popped right out all right the new mirror is different the new mirror has a screw a setting screw right in the middle of it it's a t20 just in case you guys um want to use it t20 right there the tacoma has the little metal tab on there um, so that uh, you can just slide the mirror in so to slide it in you have to press it in um, a little higher than it slides up see the mirror you can see the shape like tapers up so you feel it when it goes in and then it, it clicks on and it's on there and the power I'm going to be getting it from um, the four-wheel drive fuse which is the same place that I got the signal from my fog lights um, but like I said before that is not powering the fog light that is only giving the signal to let the relay work when there is power to that wire but I'm actually gonna get the power for this one to use for the mirror the mirror that will not use a whole lot of power so that should be perfectly fine so Alright guys, here I have the wire harness made up. Uh, this is the plug that's going to the back of the mirror. And I have it wrapped up. This is going to be by the... Behind the dash. And the way I know which wire is which one is because... The red and black one, those are the ones that are going to be powering the mirror. And this, uh, the black one is the one for the reverse signal. And this two, which is the longer wire that I have, speaker wire. 
um, I'm going to be using to get the signal from the sensor on the front of the truck. There we go. That's the wiring for the mirror. Alright guys, I finished running the wiring across the upper part of the roof. As you can see, I'm just holding it with, uh, put really strong tape on it. Kind of hard to see guys with the, with the lighting. But I'm running the cable along the side of this uh, factory harness. And I zip tied it, as you can see over here. Another one over here. There it goes to the bottom. On the bottom of the dash, right over here below. And the wiring comes out of here. I got this final wiring inside the, inside the cab for the power mirror. Um, I connected the black cable like I showed you earlier. That one went to the reverse. <clears throat> that is the one uh, that is getting the signal for the radio. So I used the same one. Uh, the ground, I connected right over here. There's a little spot. It's a good ground. I was able to test it with my little test light. And the red cable is going um, to the four-wheel drive uh, fuse number 20. All right. It looks a little bit of a mess. But once I put the cover, uh, it should be fine. Um, the one going inside the engine compartment, um, there it is, is the speaker cable, the blue with the white stripe that is um, tied together to this one. This is the one that's going to be getting the signal for the sensor, this one right over here. Green power, <laughs> we got temperature. <laughs> Thank so, God. Once I get my it's kind of hard to see. Uh, there it is. I got it to um, to focus on it. On the camera, it looks brighter than in person. In person, it looks thin, but it's still uh, legible. Hey, guys, I drove around for a little bit, and the compass was already able to calibrate itself. And it is correct uh, as far as pointing east, west, southwest, and everything. It is correct. So now it doesn't say calculate anymore. And the temperature is correct as well. So I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with the way the way the way it looks. Let me show you how I run the wire, just in case you guys want to get an idea. Uh, the sensor, believe it or not, is this one right over here. The air temperature sensor normally has to be facing where it gets fresh air. And that will be behind, right behind the grill. Um, the latch support has three holes on it from factory and mounted in the lowest one. Uh, this little sensor also, I had to cut one of the little legs that it has on it um, and file it so it can be uh, even. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it came the way it was from factory. And this is just a little nut and bolt that I grabbed. Also, the harness, by mounting it like this, the harness is not rubbing or anything like that. I tied it over here so it would not be moving here, here, and then the wiring goes behind the headlight. Goes over here, it follows the rest of them, the rest of the, the rest of the loom. There it is. So let me see, sorry guys. Hope you guys can see I'm trying to show you. And it goes together with the whole with the bundle of, of the wiring harness. And it goes inside, it has a separate um wire loom then the light bar and the fog lights so i'm running the two wires for the air temperature sensor separately so it's all good guys everything looks nice and clean no loose wires or anything there it goes and it's definitely is definitely better, way brighter than 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 at night time i'm not sure if you can see but anyway, guys, I'm really happy how it came out. Um, looks nice and clean to me. It looks like factory. Um, so I'm really happy with it. All right, guys. So I just want to um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. If you guys, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. I'll appreciate it. And consider subscribing. Mm -hmm.